Well, say hello to my personal best. I think I've had her on here a couple of times. Don't have a name for her, but that's okay. She is my 11 pound, three ounce Leviathan. Caught on August 10th, 2006 on a, uh, this is a watermelon red pearl Zoom horny toad. And uh, you can see she messed it up pretty bad. So hard to believe I caught one uh, in the nine pound range uh, just a few days ago. So she'll look good up next to her big, her big cousin here. But uh, that has nothing to do with this video. We're gonna go ahead and shoot on out to the fish cave. And uh, we stopped by the refrigerator real quick. All right, so we've kind of got a full table today. And um, <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're making a bunch of stuff <clears throat> for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so I, I posted like a little question slash poll on the uh, YouTube channel and I was like, hey, I'm gonna be making a bunch of worms. I'll probably make some other stuff too, frogs and swim baits and whatnot. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna, gonna knock out a bunch of worms here. And uh, what colors would you like to see? And <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be making like a bunch of them. So I'm not gonna do like a super complicated triple colored laminate split tail contra uh, contraption or contraption's not the right word but you get the picture and uh somebody suggested watermelon candy and i got to thinking i was like that guy's a genius because watermelon candy is a popular color which i've never done and i love it so i'm gonna be making a bunch of watermelon candy um ribbon tails and finesse worms uh, in a couple different sizes here for the giveaway and then after that we'll fire something else up and maybe make some frogs and swim baits and we'll just kind of see what happens but for right now we're going to do some watermelon candy all right watermelon candy basically add your favorite watermelon colorant whether it be mf lure works dead on um uh, bait plastics lure craft whatever you want to use and uh, if you've watched my channel, you know that I absolutely love MF Dark Watermelon. And I've never made it with watermelon candy. So that's what we're doing. So we're just going to go ahead and stir this in. This is, uh, of course, Dead On Plastic Worm Blend. This is the Black Bucket Sinking Plastic. And uh, we're going to get this stirred in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna look good. So what we're gonna do, uh, and this is three cups, this is quite a bit. What we're gonna do is we're obviously gonna cook this up to full temperature, and then we're gonna add medium black flake, medium green flake, uh, emerald green, and then medium purple flake. That gives us watermelon candy. And real quick, one of the giveaway items uh, I'm gonna give away is this gallon of the new floating finesse drop shot plastic. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda do a couple of giveaways. I'm, I'm basically gonna do the same thing I always do. You know, comment, comment and share uh, the video, leave a comment. And then I'm gonna select a handful of winners. I'm not sure how many winners yet, but you know, one winner is gonna get this plastic. One winner is gonna get a full color sample of all the dead on colors. One winner is going to get X amount of worms. Another winner is going to get X amount of baits. Um, so I'll kind of figure that out uh, in the next week or so. And um, But yeah, just wanted to say I will be giving away some really great stuff. Some plastic, some colorants, and some finished lures. Okay, it's time to get our watermelon candy on. So we're going to take our larger scoop here. This is the half teaspoon. Okay, so this is 0 0.035 black, medium black. Okay. Same thing, medium green. And this might not actually be enough flake, but we will see. Okay. And medium purple. That's what gives it the watermelon candy. All right, 
now we're gonna stir this in. And like I said, this is quite a bit of plastic here. This is three measuring cups worth, so a little bit larger. No, this is the perfect amount of glitter. A little bit larger than my average run. Folks, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. I'm excited. I am excited. This is gonna be great. All right, let's inject some stuff, shall we? Here we go. These right here are nine inch ribbon tails. This is the exact mold that I just caught that big fish on, the nine pounder. Okay. So uh, yeah, that worm definitely works. I mean, even I can catch him on it. Let's see. All right, top that one off over there. Always gotta top off your sprues. Okay. Next, we will do the same worm, but in a seven inch version. Okay, so here's the seven inch ribbon tail. All right. Looking good. These are some old school Delmart injectors. And for those of you who may be new to plastics, you probably don't even know about Delmart. He, uh, he's one of the oldest guys in the hand poured game. Um, you know, he was one of the first to make molds and injectors for us hand pourers. I, he doesn't really do a lot of that kind of work anymore. Uh, he spends his time machining parts for the Department of Defense, I believe. So, uh, you know, if you buy something from him, it's usually a really long wait, unfortunately. But he makes incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. He has a lot of years of experience. <clears throat> Uh, under his belt. So I have two of his old school injectors and uh, they're built like tanks. So, and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this back in, clean out one of the injectors, fill these last two molds. All right, and real quick, the final two molds. Okay, these are my uh, six and a half inch finesse worm. Okay, got those filled, there we go. All right. All right. Oh, drop those. Yeah. Here are the uh, seven inch ribbon tails. Look at that, guys. Watermelon candy. Boom, going in the bath. All right. Let's see. Now we'll do the big worms. Let's see what we can do here. Yes, sir. There it is. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Those are gorgeous. Such an easy color, guys. Easy, easy. And uh, it's one of the more aesthetically pleasing colors. You know, kind of like a sprayed grass. You just want to look at it constantly. Same with this one right here. Okay, now let's... Uh, Check out some of these finesse worms. See what we can do here. Yeah. There we go. Watermelon candy finesse worms. Let's look at the next one real quick. Come on now. Yeah. Looking good. We'll just run through these real quick. Looking, looking good. And last but not least. Yeah. It's a pile of worms, guys. So here's what we did. Oops. On that uh, first run. Okay, we're back with some more watermelon candy. This is what we have left. So, we're going to see what we can get out of it. Here's some more nine inch worms. Okay. Looking good, or feeling good, shall I say. I wish they, well, they do make overseas, but I wish some of the American uh, injector makers made a super sized injector that's big enough for me to get all four of these molds here. But I'll have to keep taking cold showers on that, I guess. 
All right, and here's another round of the seven inch worm. Okay, feels good. Okay. Yeah. All righty. All righty. That's the way to do that. Set them on top of each other. Yeah. Still a little gooey, but uh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, here's the next eight. Or excuse me, the next four. Okay, looking good. And uh, let's see. Here's the sevens. Yeah, sevens looking good. Okay, we'll set those down for right now. Open up the next round. Okay. Yeah. Yank that off. Oops. Yank that off. Okay, there's some more sevens. And beer number two for the night. Okay, so we're gonna use, this is what we're down to. We're gonna use uh, pretty much the rest of this to uh, knock out some more finesse worms. I'm just gonna see how many we can get. That's a full injector, so we should get three of these molds, I think. We'll, we'll see, it'll be close. This is a pretty sizable injector, but you know, this is a five cavity mold with a very, very large runner. Okay, feels like we got it. Now we can just top them off. Oh, guys, we got it. Perfect. And that's pretty efficient to not have much plastic left over. And uh, that, that's what you want. You wanna try to maintain the integrity of the color and not have a whole lot of waste. All right, so with these next three molds, our three cups of plastic has produced 67 worms. Not bad, three, three measuring cups of plastic and you can get enough worms for days. Okay, next we're gonna make some jerk baits five inch uh, fork tail jerk baits. So, we're gonna make a shad color. Clear plastic, blue highlight, okay? Just a little bit of blue highlight, not too much. Just enough to give it a nice blue sheen when the light reflects on it, okay? You can kinda see how that works already. All right, so we're gonna stir that in. It's kind of clumping up on me. No, don't clump up on me. You know. Oh, that looks gorgeous already. Well, we're gonna have to stir this for a minute. All right, we're back. Now, a little bit of medium black flake. Not too much though. We want it just kind of for texture. Just a little bit of texture. Okay. Not too much. Perfect, it's kinda, it's just kinda in there every so often. All right. Now we're gonna add some string glitter, some string cut hologram. All right. Really gonna put some of that in there. Okay, stir that in. Yeah, now we have kinda like a nice disco shad. That is a shad color, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. All right. So, we're gonna make some disco, I guess you could call it disco shad, some disco shad jerk baits here. All right. And we're ready to go. Oh, the sun's coming out, hold on. Well, I'll get this shoot going real quick. I actually don't like the reflection from the sun on the camera, but that's fine. All right, here's mold number one. Scoot the camera back a smidge. Mold number one. Mold number two. Okay. Mold number three. 
All right, so that is 12 jerk baits. Just like that in a matter of seconds. Got a love injection, okay. Perfect. All right, and we have plenty of plastic left over to make more. Okay, see what we get. Come on, baby, there we go. Guys, look at that. Oh, mama. Those are hot. Those are hot. I don't just mean temperature. Folks, look at that. That's my new favorite shad color. I literally just made that up on the spot. Oh my gosh. Why can't I do that every time? Make something really good. Just some days you have the magic, some days you don't. Okay, we're pulling out more. Oh my gosh, guys, this is perfect. This is one of those colors that I would never change. In fact, I'm gonna have to play with this in the old hand pour swim baits. See what I can do with that as maybe a base color or, or you know, include that in a big laminate, you know, one of those Mondo baits or, or just whatever I can do. Cause that, especially when you see it in person and you can see the blue highlight kind of reflecting. I, I don't know how well that comes across, but golly, that is something to see in person. And I mean, highlight colors are, are awesome uh, no matter what, but when you, it's, it's really less is more. When you use clear plastic and you put just a little bit of highlight in, you keep the clarity, but you get the highlight effect. If you load it up with highlight, it almost clouds up your bait, and I honestly don't think it looks as good. So, yeah. How about those, y'all? Okay. So, that is what we did today. You can see we have our jerk baits laid out rivet tails and uh, you know throughout the rest of this week I'll, I'll I'll make some other stuff that's just all I'm gonna do on camera today so this is just kind of sort of what to expect this colorants a gallon of plastic you know we're gonna have like several little gift sets so to speak um, uh, for the winners so uh, yeah I think this is some really great stuff All right, everybody. Well, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and tuning in. Um, like I said, you know, I'll I'll do a couple other things throughout the week. I'll whip up, you know, a few frogs. I'll see what I have as far as bloodline swim baits. Um, maybe do a couple of hand pours. Um, you know, just that way, you know, it's it's well rounded. And uh, you know, like I said, we'll select a couple different winners. You know, and I'll have like you know set uh you know giveaway set one two three and four you know four or five winners and you know one of them's going to be the plastic one of them's going to be the colorant set one of them's going to be these baits another one will be these baits and we'll just kind of do it on a uh first come first serve you know um once i post a video with the winners um or, or post the winners we will um just kind of do whoever emails me first gets to pick, you know, which set they want, so to speak. I think that's how I'm going to play it. But um, anyway, just wanted to uh, make a few things on film that you'll be seeing in the giveaway. And uh, I think they look great. So hopefully you can see that. And uh, I think we're going to wrap this one up tonight. So uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Looked over at my drying table and said, yep, I forgot all 40 of these finesse worms or however many 30 something like that 35 so everything i just said plus those and uh that should do it